Now back to our top story through the morning, Savannah Soto, the missing pregnant woman who was the subject of a clear alert. She's believed to have been found dead inside a car parked near an apartment complex on the city's northwest side. So this is where police found the bodies of two people. This is Danny K Drive. It's near Babcock Road. Investigators believe that the two bodies found are 18 year old Savannah Soto, who was last seen Friday, and her boyfriend, who the family says is Matthew Guerra. John Paul Barajas was at the scene when investigators found the bodies and he spoke with the woman's family. San Antonio police officers swarmed this apartment complex on the 5900 block of Danny K Drive, believing they found the bodies of a soon to be mom, 18 year old Savannah Soto, and her boyfriend, who family says is Matthew Guerra. We were supposed to celebrate Christmas with her and the baby. Um, all she wanted, all she wanted was that baby. I think she was meant to be a mom. Soto's sister-in-law, Joanny Wasil, says when Soto missed her appointment to be induced Saturday, they knew something was wrong. Authorities issued a missing persons alert Monday. Wasil explains a tip through Facebook led them to this great Kia. Horrible. So uh, confusing, so difficult. That confusion and emotions boiled over at times as families of both Soto and Guerra waited for word from authorities. When police chief William McManus did speak, not much clarity was given. It was a very, very perplexing crime scene. And detectives right now are looking at this as a possible murder. And, uh, but we don't know for sure. He adds they think the bodies are Soto's and her boyfriends, but that he wouldn't confirm that until the medical examiner did, although families on both sides were notified. That they were shot, I'm not sure where. I did see blood in the car when I, when they opened it. The chief also didn't mention a suspect, any type of murder-suicide situation, or if there was a weapon in the car. But still tells us now all her family wants is answers while they try to move forward. Grieve to organize the funeral of two, um, Vanna and the baby. John Paul Barajas, KSAT, 12 News. Just a tragic story, and it's a story that continues to bring new developments. Savannah Soto, she's actually the second child that her mother, Gloria Cordova, lost in the past year and a half. Savannah's younger brother was killed last year. Case that has learned Savannah's family was behind a courtroom brawl that involved his suspected killer. Captured on this video from pa this past October. Now, this is video that was shared with KSAT, and in the video, you can see members of Savannah's family beating the suspect accused of killing Ethan. Now, this unfolded right in the middle of a Bear County courtroom. Now, Ethan Soto was just 15 when police say he was shot and killed in May of last year. This is video from that scene. It all happened on Alston Street near Callahan Road. Police tell us he was shot after an argument, an argument that led to gunfire. We're going to continue to update this story on air and online at KSAT.com. Hello, everybody. Stefania Jimenez here. Thank you so much for watching KSAT's YouTube channel. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.